Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I still have a little bit of that cold that I've had for about two weeks nearly now. But it's lifting, it's starting to go. I'm going to show you how to do this ploughman's hat. I'm calling it, or a plough person's hat. Whether it, the reason for that is because when you see it on its side, it actually looks like the ploughed fields that are up where my sister Sandra lives. I mean, I was brought up in the countryside as well. And when the fields were all ploughed, this is what it looked like. It looked like this. Now, I used a, a bought pom-pom. I bought pom-pom. Now, I was on Amazon and I got these and you get two pom-poms. Two of each. And each of the little pom-poms has got a little, a little loop. So you can sew it on. You can buy these and you can put them on key rings and things as well. A lot of people buy them and put them on key rings. But they're fantastic for cheating and putting on hats. <laughs> and this is a cheats hat. It's a cheats hat. It's an easy stitch. It's a warm stitch. It's thick and it's quite stretchy. And I'm going to show you how to do this in a cheats way. Where you're not doing any increasing or decreasing at all on this hat. And a lot of people say to me, how can I make a hat where I'm not having to start here and increase or get up to here and decrease? So I'm going to show you how to do it. So this one is a weight 4 yarn. You can use any yarn as long as you use the hook size it tells you on the label. And when you do your chain, you make sure that if you just do your chain in sets of 4, so it fits around your head. So I'm going to show you how to do this really cheap really easy quick way to do a hat now once you've done one of these you can use any pattern on it you can use any pattern and i'll show you how to gather it all up and stick a pom-pom you don't need to put a pom-pom on the top of it that's what it looks like in the middle once you've gathered it all up a real cheats way real quick easy way to make a pretty hat so for the sample that I'm going to do, I'm going to use this lollipop yarn. This is from Hobby. It's a weight 4, and if you're in the, U the UK, that's an iron weight. This is a weight 4. Tells you to use between a 4 and a 6 millimeter hook or needle. So I'm going to use a 6. A 6 millimeter crochet hook. But you can use any yarn for this. I'll move my mouse out of the way. You can use any yarn for this at all. You can use double knitting. So when I'm going to start this, this is a weight 4 yarn. That's an iron yarn if you're in the UK. The thicker the yarn, the less stitches you'll need to make this hat. So the easiest thing for you to do is to make your chain and then wrap it around your head where your ears are. Wrap it around your head so it'll go right around the back of your head, over your ears and around the front. And if that's, do your chain so that it wraps around your head. The thinner the yarn, more stitches that you'll need. But do it in sets of four. Now I'm going to do a slip knot. So just pull your yarn through like this and put your hook in and just pull it. If you can't do that, you can just put your yarn down and tie one knot just tie one knot onto your hook now i'm going to do my chain in sets of four one two three four so the best thing to do with your yarn is do your chain and wrap it around your head so that it joins together like this around your head and it's not tight so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and keep my chain straight, like this. Monkey's barking at his ball. And I'm going to put my hook through the last stitch. And through the last stitch. And slip through both of those stitches. So make sure that you keep your chain so it's not twisted. We're going to work our way around. I'm going to do a chain of two, chain two, 
Now I've got a stitch marker here that I'm going to put around that chain and that way I know when I come all the way around that that is the one that I'm going to slip stitch onto. So I've done a chain. You're going to skip one, two, three stitches and into the fourth stitch we're going to put UK two UK treble crochets. If you're in the USA that's two double crochets for you. So that's one into the same stitch two. Now you're going to chain two, we're doing this little cluster, chain two into the same stitch put one double crochet. If you're in the USA that's a single crochet. It's the same stitch we just have different terms for it. So this is the foundation round. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my marker in. You can either use one of these little pins, you can use a bright coloured piece of yarn, anything that will mark that chain. Back into my stitch. So we're going to skip three stitches. One, two and three. And into the next one do that cluster. So that's two treble crochets. These are doubles if you're in the USA. One and two. Chain two. One, two. And put in the same stitch one double crochet. And that's a single if you're in the USA. You're going to do that all the way around. So skip one, two, three. Don't worry if you get to the end and you don't have enough threes to skip. One, two trebles, two chain and one double crochet all into the same stitch. Skip three, one, two, three. one treble crochet and another one into the same stitch chain two now this is just a foundation row and a double into the same stitch skip three and do that cluster again all the way around so I'm almost I'm almost all the way around now the reason we're skipping three is to keep it so that it's still stretchy. If you only skip two, it'll get, it'll be tight around the bottom here and it's going to fan out on the top. I'm going to show you this piece that I've done before we've turned it into a hat. This is the bottom and this is the top. If you don't skip three, if you only skip two, when you've got this done, it's going to fan out like that and be really wide at the top. So that's why I've done it in sets of four. And then what I'm going to do is, I've got this space, so I'm just going to leave these extra two stitches. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to slip stitch into that chain. Even if you've got three or four there, that's okay. Just slip stitch into that chain and pull through. I'm going to take my marker out. I don't like these markers. These ones are quite sort of thin and sharp and they're a bit fiddly for my hands and I think I'm going to end up taking that off. It doesn't matter as long as you've got a marker you can use a piece of yarn. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to chain two, one to and turn my work around. Turn it around and we're going to work the back the other way. We need to work into the chains now. That's your foundation row done. So what we're going to do is we're going to work into this chain, all these two chains, and we're going to go around. You've got your two treble crochets here and we're going to work around that last one. So I'll show you that in a moment. So I've done my two chain. I'm going to go straight in to this chain space and put my two treble crochets. 
These are double crochets if you're in the USA, that's one. Do you know what? I've got a little hang on my hook and someone told me it just might be the paint that these are sprayed with and if you put it into some hot water and give it a little scrub then I might be able to soften that little part of the paint that's there that's catching my yarn. It's really annoying. So that's one, two, into the chain space, chain two, one, two, and what you're going to do now is don't go into that same space. You're going to go, that's your two treble crochets. You're going to do your double crochet around that post. So you've got your chain space and your two treble crochets. Put your hook in between them and go behind it and poke your, your hook out the other side. So that post of that stitch, that long part of that stitch, is on the front of your hook. Put your yarn over, pull through and do your double crochet. It's a UK double or a USA single. You're going to skip right over to the next chain. I'll put my marker back in that little chain of two there. I'll put my stitch marker in. That's so I don't mistake it and start doing the pattern and it will come out wonky. So into the next chain space, yarn over and do your two treble crochets. One and two. These are double crochets if you're in the USA. Chain two, one, two, and that's your two treble crochets there of that cluster. Go around that second one. Go in between those two trebles and have the post in the front and pull through, yarn over and through the two loops. So into the next chain space, you're going to do that all the way around and we're going to do 20 rounds. Each time we'll turn and go back the other direction. One, two. So there's my two trebles. Go behind that second one. Don't do any yarn overs. And yarn over and through the two loops. So we're not doing a treble around that, we're only doing a double crochet or a single if you're in the USA. So my two stitches in the chain, chain two and then around that post. So into the next chain, my chain space there, put your two treble crochets. This is a stitch that you'll keep repeating chain two and then go to those two treble crochets and go around that one there. It's not the same as that foundation row. So over to the next chain, do two treble crochets into the chain space, one and two. I need to find another hook, this one's really annoying me. There's a six. I'm going to change my hook out because that one's catching too much. And do this one. So chain two. And there's my two treble crochets of that cluster. I'm going to go around that second one. Through, that's much better. Into the chain space of the next cluster. One, two stitches near the end. One, two, chain two, around that post and then what you're going to do is you're going to go skip this space here and you're going to go in and around that chain two that we did and just slip stitch to join your circle. Chain two, one, two. Now you're going to turn your work again. You're going to keep turning your work. If you don't turn your work, you have not got the chain space in the right place to get your... If you don't turn your work, you don't have the chain space in the right place to go around that stitch. So you have to turn your work. 
so that your chain space is first. So I've done my two chain. I'll put my marker background because you can see how easy it is just to continue that pattern around. Put my marker back in there. That's where I have to slip stitch to finish my round. So straight away into here, this is my cluster, my chain and my crochets. So I'm going to put my two UK treble crochets into that chain of two. Chain two, one, two, and go around the second post of that cluster with a double crochet. It's a single crochet if you're in the USA. Move to the next one. So you'll see what happens. It puts a cluster here, a cluster here, a cluster there and a cluster there. I'll show you with this one. This is the way it works. So you can see that you've got a cluster here, one there, one there, the next row's there. It moves it around. Just remember I've got another, this is a little better clip here. You can put a bright piece a bright piece of yarn in there if you want. Just remember that once you've slip stitched to that chain of two that we started with, remember and turn your work. If you need to, you can turn your little hat inside out like that to work around. When you go all the way around, slip stitch, chain two and turn back. Turn to go back so that your chains, you'll be going back this way, so that your chains are always first and then it's your two stitches. Then it's a chain and your two stitches because it's a chain you need to work into first. I'll pop that back over there and I'll show you how once you get it to this size. This is 20 rounds. I went around and back, around and back until I've done 20 rounds. And I'll show you how easy this is just to gather it up into a hat. And it is quite stretchy as well. So we're going over to our chain. We're going to do that all the way around. So I've worked all the way around to my last two chain and my two treble crochets. So I'm going to work my last cluster in here. One, two, then chain two. Remember that chain two. And go around that second post and pull it through. Now that's my starting two chain when I turned my work. I'm going to slip stitch into there. I'll take that pin out. So that's my chain two that I started with. Just go in and slip stitch. Pull through. Turn your work around. Turn it around because we're going to work back so chain two, and I'm going to put my pin in. That keeps it. That keeps it so that it's the same. If you don't do that chain two, you'll get a tight part in your hat. I'll show you the other one that I've already got. Now we're going. To, I did twenty rounds, so I've done my chain two, and I'm going straight over to this cluster with the chain two that's here. So that's just my turning those two chains. So into there and we're going to do that pattern. Two stitches, two chain and then around the post of that second treble there. Looks like a V stitch. Go around that post. Then to the next one. You're just going to continue doing that. Go around, chain two, and turn back. So I'll work all the way around. Turn it back in that way if you want. Make sure you don't get it twisted. So when I get back to here, I'll do my last cluster in that chain around that post and slip stitch to this chain of two here. Then turn your work, chain two, and start working back that way. Work back that way. So I've done 20 rows on my hat and I've got these darning needles. I'm going to take a darning needle. Now when I cut my yarn, I just did my slip stitching 
to this last stitch here, that's it there, I'm going to take that out, I'm going to pull my yarn, I've cut myself a length off my ball of yarn and I'm going to show you the quickest way that you can gather all this in to a hat like that, it's going to be so easy. I'll stitch in this end as well before we're finished and we're going to just gather all that up in a bun, almost. So I'm going to get myself a big darning needle and I'm going to do it with, oops, I'm going to do it with a double amount of yarn. Now make sure it's not got any knots in it. Just take yourself a length of yarn and put your darning needle on and double it up. So I'm going to take it right down past that stitch. I'll turn it inside out. It's both the same pattern so it doesn't really matter if you can see that pattern. It doesn't really matter whether you do it. You can see it better that way, which way you do this. But if you make sure this end is a little overlapping, oops, and I've got my thread doubled over. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and out the stitches, just in and out the stitches. We're going to sew this all up, just weave it in and out. And that's going to gather it, as you can see. So just go weave in and out. We don't need to be too particular. And when you pull it, when you pull it tight, you can see it's going to pull that hat in. In and out. And through your stitches. Go right through the middle of the stitches. We're going to put a pom pom on the top of this so you won't see where you've gathered it in. So I'm nearly back at the beginning. The beginning is round here. Just catch a couple of those. Just loop up some stitches, pull through. So you can open this up and then you can tighten it in, like a drawstring bag almost. And I find this is a quick way to make hats. It saves you from doing all those increases and decreases. Now I'll find my little tail end that I had left with my yarn. came all the way around. So what you're going to do now is just tighten it in. Just tighten it in like that. Pull it, pull it. Just wriggle it around and pull it in. Just wriggle that little pattern around and pull it in. Got it as tight as I can get it with all those stitches. Now what I'm going to do, that's what the top of it looks like, I'm just going to put a stitch across here. We're just going to kind of bind this in. Push your hook right through to the bottom. Right through to this end. Like this. And we'll just kind of close that gap off through to this side down through this side. Just a couple just to make sure that we hold that in and down through there and there we go. Now you can either leave it like that, I'll fix that in a little minute, I'll sew that in. Now the bag of pom-poms that I had that I showed, I actually thought I had a blue one, I thought I had a blue pom-pom in amongst I've got those light blue pom-poms there, there's grey pom-poms, there's a dark blue, 
I actually thought I had sort of purplish ones. Now this one's a mixed bag I got and you get two pom-poms the same. So the pom-poms I've got, I'll put a link under the video. I got these on Amazon now. I'm sure they've got a little cord somewhere to sew it in. I can't find it on that one. There's one there. They've got these little threads. There it is. They've got these little pieces of elastic that you loop your stitches through and that puts the pom-pom on the top of your hat. Now let's, oh that one matches it quite well doesn't it? We'll keep that one to the side. What about grey? Oh the grey is quite nice isn't it? What do you think? The multicolour or the grey? See I thought I had, I thought I had a blue. There is a dark blue but it's a bit on too dark. I thought there was a lighter blue one. We've got black, we've got burgundy, we've got purple. We get two each of these pom-poms. Now I can't remember what size they are but I'll leave a link underneath to Amazon where I got these mixed. There's a nice grey mix one there. So I think we're going to go either with the grey or with that coloured one. We'll pop that coloured one. It would be better if we had one that was just blue. So what I can do is I can find the bit for this. And most of it up here is blue. I can always snip a lot of that other coloured stuff off so I've got more blue left on it I suppose. Just fluff it all up. Fluff it out. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put these back in the bag. These are brilliant, they're really cheap. I mean you can use the yarn, you can make a pom-pom with the yarn that you've used. But I thought it would be much easier, we're doing this little cheats, cheats hat. So I'm going to go through that loop that's on the pom-pom. And I'm going to pull it through. Make sure it goes into the middle of my hat. Now I'm going to catch another stitch here over here and pull that in and that's going to pull my pom-pom right into the middle of my hat like that. I'll find that loop again and go through the loop and then just catch a stitch. Make sure it goes through that loop. We'll go in that loop and through another stitch in the top of the hat. We'll try not to catch any of that fluffing and we'll just give it a pull Then I'm going to stitch back through. I'm going to go to the other side this time just to make sure my pom-poms nice and secure and my stitches are secure. So I'm going to go through that loop again of the pom-pom and then we'll just over sew it now. Give it a little tug. And a couple of stitches and then we're going to go on to the inside. Just push your darning needle through into the middle. And I'll do a couple of stitches, just over sew it with a few stitches to hold the pom pom in place. There we go. This will keep Sandra's head nice and warm up on her farm. Got my little scissors. We'll snip that off. I'll take that out. Because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to catch this end and I'm just going to over sew this end in and back through a couple of times. Just to sew the ends in. I'll do my little ploughman's hat. There we go. Or plow person's hat. Put that over there. Put the lid back on my scissors. Oh 
my stitch counter and there we go you've got this beautiful little hat I'll move them out of the way and you've got this really nice stretchy hat a beautiful little ploughman's hat to go with the scarf that we made I did 20 rows so it's up to you and on this yarn this was 54 yeah 54 stitches with this thicker yarn if you use a double knitting you might need to do extra stitches on it but just wrap the chain around your head wrap it around your head make sure it meets and then join it and then start that pattern and remember and use a little marker on that chain too before you turn and mark it just so that you don't start your pattern and keep going round and round and it throws the pattern off so thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and if you click on the bell icon, YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.